This planter is a larger version of the planter that I built last week that only uses a couple simple cuts and screws to get the L joined together. What I want to do right now is just show you exactly what this new planter can do and if you actually want to see the old planter the video will be up in the description or you can click on the link right down below. Now the difference between this planter and the one I built last week is this planter has individual pots. What that means is you can take out each individual pot and then put whatever platter you want in there. And let's say you want to change the plant, all you do is take out the pot and replace it with a new one. And actually if you want to move this planter around it's a lot easier to move because you can take out all the flowers and all the pots, then move the planter and then put them back in. So you're not lugging around 100 to 90 pounds every single time. Now another cool feature about this planter, it also doubles up as a storage bin. So in the winter, or even in the fall, you can actually attach a lid to the top of this planter and then turn it into a storage bin. So you can fit maybe your barbecue, pet animal, some tools, anything you want really that can fit inside this planter. So when building it, you can adjust that to make sure that it fits whatever you need for a storage bin. Now another difference I had between the planter I built last week and this one right now is the bottom boards aren't screwed in. I actually might add a little bit of support to this in the future depending on how heavy stuff I'm putting inside of it. But what I can actually do is remove the slats and actually sit in this if I wanted to or I can actually put a large plant in the spot of the smaller planters and have the slats just for the small ones there. So there's a whole bunch of possibilities you can do with this but in the future I might just add a little bit more support just in case I want a lot of heavier stuff in there. Now it's actually built the exact same way as the other one, just with longer cuts. So you can check out that video if you want to, and I could make a tutorial on it, but from the video it's all just cutting down to the size, then screwing the boards together and then placing them in a little square pattern. Then you have your planter all done once you put it in the bottom. Now not only is it very light to lift up and move around, but this planter can actually support a lot of weight. Now I weigh about 145 pounds, which is not a lot, but I can fit comfortably inside this planter without any cracking, bending, warping, twisting, or anything going on with it. So if you put in more screws or attach everything or that extra support bar, you can probably fit maybe up to 200 pounds. I don't want to test it with this one just to be safe so it doesn't crack, but as of right now, this planter can hold a lot of weight. And this is what you can actually use the planter box for. You can use it for a whole bunch of plants or just storage in the winter or anything you can think of that can have individually plants move. And always you can take them out whenever you want. Oh, it's heavy. And then put them back down in the spot to move around your plants to organize the garden to get every look you want. But there you have it, that was the planter that I built this week, just a large version of the planter I built last week. And if you have any suggestions of what I can add to this one, or any suggestions on how to strengthen it up just to keep the weight down as well, please let me know down in the comments. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you later.